Hey there guys, it's basically Theory Theory with the continuation of the Trigger, Trigger, the Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa Let's Play. Today we're continuing through the game and we are nearly done, I believe, from um, finishing off the game. It's been about like how many parts are out around. I think we've reached pretty much through the 60s right now. So, if not, at least the 50s. And it's been a long journey so far. What the hell is extras? They all the kind of special bonuses the further you unlock. Oh, huh, that's interesting. I could go actually use a school store in the menu. Hmm. So I always have to waste my time here. Uh, what does the option do again? I never actually checked any of this before. Uh, sound effects, voice volume, radical speed, max, movement bobs, and reset. Return all options to their default settings, okay? Alright then, let's uh, continue on through the game. We are at the chapter 3 ending, so we're starting up chapter 4, I believe. I'm sorry, I need to move this microphone a little bit because it's kind of like bothering the, uh, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the wires that's connected to my, uh, headset right here. And this is the one time I'm probably glad that I'm not using face cam because I am naked. <laughs> I'm not joking, it is so hot that I need to strip down my shirt and open the windows because it is so damn hot. So I apologize if there's any, um, wind sound over the microphone, but it is, I, I want to survive. <laughs> Anyway, so, Leon killed Sayaka. Oh, sorry, this is what Kuta we're talking about here. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. Then he got- and then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Hold on a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Let me do a panic test real quickly to see if I'm actually eligible to be heard from. It looks like I'm fine. I'm As long as I talk in this manner, then I'm going to be in the yellow area. So I think it should be good. As long as I don't scream at the top of my lungs and break the microphone and to that extent, your, your guys' ears. Um, and that brings us to up to now. <clears throat> I should probably not drink orange juice in the middle of a uh, recording. But apparently, I'm from what... um. Uh, Hickory, one of my friends, uh, say, Orange juice is not good for your voice, but, um, I don't know, it's delicious. And I need to be, I need to quench my thirst while I'm, um, recording these episodes anyway, so, uh, whatever. And welcome to the life of a YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen, in case you guys are inspired by this in the middle of, what, part 50-something of Danganronpa Let's Plays. You too can be a Let's Player! Uh, anyways, the next morning, in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case, so, now there's only five of us here. <sighs> only a third of the number of the people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <sighs> that is true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? Ah, no, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? Uh, what do you mean, in that case? Cause I mean... Well, cuz, look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be cuz we're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your... If you fill your bellies, I'm sure you'll all cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? what? That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extinction level event combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast top time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas have sh should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We have to... Oh my god, my Makoto and Kirigiri voice sounds very similar. I need someone to differentiate those two. Anyways, we have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! Yeah, yeah! Think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. You know? Like, when we're gonna get out of here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that sounded horrible. I want to do a retake of that, but that's too late right now. 
when this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. Er, uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um... Huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits... I predicted last night. Since it revealed itself to be me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling, anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. <sighs> that seems really low. It's not like some occult... Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you, my fortune telling isn't that some occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't a cult? You got it all wrong! Of course not! Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutation. Huh? Cattle... What? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. What? And before long, the, end is nigh. the sky was filled with a mysteriously blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. Okay. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. I like how they actually have some sort of concept art for this as well. And then... As if to say that, oh, this is totally happening in real life right here. floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. Maybe you dropped the burger and it fell down. Part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Okay. You realize what that means? It means... The burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. Okay. You can't trick me. So, I stormed back into the burger- I want to know why that has a dialogue and not the rest of the entire game. I don't know, why do JRPGs do that sometimes? If you don't go all out, then why not just go all out? Or have no dialogue whatsoever? It just seems kind of half-assed that some of the JRPGs, no, not just JRPGs, Japanese games in general have that weird voice acting thing, where they only voice some lines, but not all lines. Hmm. So I stormed, it feels like it's really lazy, okay, I gotta stop ranting on that shit, anyways. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef, they totally mixed in ground pork with it! How about that? Now, do you see? That's a cattle mutilation! I uh, kind of got lost halfway through. Ugh. I can't tell if you're. Uh, I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of. How dare you! Ugh. Well, you do stink though. Like mm. literally. That's fine. Huh? That's fine. Um. Anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least. I won't murder anyone! Oh, it's setting up for whatever's gonna happen! Who knows? Yeah! Me neither! I mean, I would never! Of course. Me neither! Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too! Of course, I will never kill any of my friends! Plot twist, Makoto would be the killer. <laughs> we ourselves would be the one to murder in order to graduate at some sort of I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. Or it could be a way to trick each other into thinking, Oh, we're totally not going to murder each other when in actuality, BAM! Someone's dead! After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become united. Of course, uh, we're still missing Toko and Byakuya, so... But... Well... To be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without him, I say. Ah, why did I have like a, a like some sort of weird accent for a second? That was enough to pr that was enough to prove. We were united for the time being. 
but within that bond hid a weakness and fragility. Hmm. Alright. All star apologies. Who the hell is that chick with the Mickey Mouse ears? She looks nothing like anyone I've seen before. The bottom left kind of looks like, um... Fuck, what's her name again? Jihiro, I think? The, the cross-dresser one? Uh, anyways. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had helped... What had... What had opened up what was waiting for us. <sighs> Alright. So, considering how... Um, last time we were in the third floor, I'm gonna assume... By... Total predictability that the next time would be on the what the hell? Why is this floor caged up? The gate seems to be quite insistent about staying shut. Why do we keep having to deal with stuff like this? Interesting. This place is still caged up, so whatever this place is might be open in chapter 5 or a way to get out. Who knows? Um, how do we get out of here though? Where's... Wait, what am I doing? It's fucking... Fuck, oops, wrong button. Is it square? Map. Yeah, there's fast travel, what am I doing? Where's the third floor? I'm gonna assume that the uh, fourth floor is somewhere next to the third floor for obvious reasons. Uh, here we go. So now we have access to the 4th floor of Hope's Peaks Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some clue. No! This time, I have to find it! Alright, um, how do I, uh... Do the map thing again? Oh, I can straight by doing that. Huh, interesting. Um, don't know why we can't strafe just by moving left or right with the left stick like the normal games, but... Eh. Yeah, because right stick also, like, aims, but so does the left stick when you go left and right in a horizontal axis. That's stupid. Alright, uh, data lab. Rattle, rattle. No good, door's locked. I guess it won't be getting in there. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's the but, but what's behind the door is a total mystery. Alright. Did we miss anything on the way here? No, just some bathrooms. I don't think that we really weren't searching. Does it? Uh, this looks like... Oh, it's a music room. Alright. What's beyond the hell? An auditorium? A piano? This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you th think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah! Well, um, I did find the secret room, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react. So I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those, important those are. It's okay, I already saw what I need to do to in there. I... <laughs> And I have suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the ha hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room... That must mean that there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the Mastermind's identity. Then, you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing through, right? After all, you're a boy. <laughs> what? Are you being sexist, judgmental like that, Kirigiri? What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand, you sexist bastard. <laughs> then, let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that says, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? <clears throat> Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? 
that's... I don't think that's a good enough... I don't think that's a smart thing to do, especially in the middle of the surveillance camera. We could probably discuss this in another room where there's no surveillance whatsoever, but in here to call me out on the spot? Can we just do this later? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well, well, couldn't the camera just zoom in and see through it with their high, high resolution thing? I mean, I don't know how high res the camera itself is though, but... I think even writing it down might not be such a good idea. I'd still say we should go back to the room where there's no surveillance. That way it'll be very safe. Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Ooh, I don't trust Kiri Giri now. Oh, she's using her mind-bending twists. You're right, that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. That is true, we don't really have that much evidence to dictate whatever, but then again, at the same time, I feel like she will be able to trust us. But at the same time, there's the surveillance camera, so I'm not gonna tell you! Uh, sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer? However... But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say. But now you're unwilling to share? I will share in a different room! Is that a fucking option game? Can I do that? I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. But at the same time, a fucking camera! Hello, bitch! Did you not see the fucking 1080p high resolution camera? Is this a grand piano? <laughs> what do you think, Makoto? Is that a grand piano or not? I bet it's worth lots of money, of course, without someone around to play, it's totally useless. I don't know, can anyone play piano? I can kind of play piano, but I can only use it with one hand. I can only, like, play melodies. I can't play, like, chords or rhythms or whatever. I feel like I like I would need like two different brains in order to activate both sides of the keyboard whenever I play piano. And I I guess I don't have the functionality to do that, so I can only play like one side. I can either play only the rhythm or only the melody. I can't do them both at the same time. That's how that's my stance on whenever I try to play piano. I think I actually did try to play uh, play piano during one of my let's plays. I'm not sure which let's play it was. Though. I th I have to guess, maybe it was on my Final Fantasy Let's Play. I don't know which one. I think it's either 13 or 7. Either one of them. I had face cam. No, no, it was definitely um 13. I remember it. I don't know what part it is, but I'm sure it's like 40. I'm pretty sure you can find somewhere. I played different musics, I guess, in terms of video game music, in terms of real life music, I believe. But regardless, um, I can only play melodies or rhythm, or rhythm songs. That's about it. So I can't really play piano um, consistently. Um, the nameplate on the door says, Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Ha! Huh. The door is locked. Damn it! I was kind of half expecting Monokuma to show up out of nowhere! Nope. Not even when I turn around and expect him to show up. Uh, I should probably, um... Stop the recording. Sorry, not stop the recording. Um, end the episode here for a real quick second. So I'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned to that.